The reason why we are deploying a collar on these elephants is that, first of all, it is living in community land. Uh, most of the elephants in Amboseli indeed uh, use a lot of the community land most of the times. So we want to understand their patterns of movements, where they go and at what time, which season, etc. And what drives them there, so that uh, we can uh, better map uh, those areas outside uh, protected areas that are necessary for elephants. We realize that uh, with Kenya's growing populations, not all the wild areas will remain pristine and that development and uh, indeed humans need to continue getting livelihoods from land. <laughs> This is one of the places where there is uh, human elephant conflict specifically and indeed that's one of the reasons why we are coloring them so that with un the understanding of movement even the ways people settle in this area can be determined and uh, the way animals um, uh, moving in the area can also be determined so we can have a good balance of uh, the use of uh, this uh, landscape by people and, and wildlife and avoid conflict. Human-wildlife conflict is increasing. And human-wildlife conflict is increasing because, again, of lack of space. There are more people. Our conservation efforts have been successful. So there's also more wildlife. We have major, major human-wildlife conflict issues here. And these range from, unfortunately, loss of life, crop damage, and others. Here, we've been able to compensate in terms of loss of life which has been my em emphasis for families. And we compensate families at 5 million Kenya shillings per life. And this is what we can do uh, at the moment. When it comes to crop damage, we assess what the crop damage is, then we also pay. What we're learning in Amboseli is critical to our planning for the rest of the country. And I'm pleased to say because wildlife conservation and conservancies are part and parcel of our land use, we are already mapping that out, particularly if you look at the Northern Rangelands Trust, where we are encouraging communities to use their land as part of a conservation uh, and conservancies effort. What we learn in Amboseli because this is an ecosystem that has been studied for over 40 years, is critical to our conservation plans for the rest of the country. Oh, no. 